once my son got back to Austin, um, we unpacked his bag and we realized that he had somehow come home with nine Nintendo Switch games. But those games, including Legend of Zelda, weren't his. In fact, his mom says the games belonged to someone else. Her son left from Norfolk International Airport on January 3rd, a Friday. It was on that flight from here to Dallas that he met another boy on that same flight, and that's where she said the mix-up happened. I was panicked a little bit just trying my mind going through all of the different ways that hopefully we could in some way, you know, return these games. Dallas was the layover, Austin was the final stop. The next day I called American Airlines um, to see if they could possibly pass our information along to the boy and his family. She gave them names, the flight number, date, and seat number, but because she didn't have the boy's last name, they couldn't help. So we reached out to American Airlines to get some answers. A representative from the airline found the flight manifest showing both boys sitting next to each other. The rep then told us they will reach out to the families and help connect them. As I understand, there are some things that you just might not be able to look at without certain information, so I didn't press her too hard. She's taking this as a learning experience and hopes other parents do too. If you worry about your child, you know, losing out on something on their flight, it's probably better to just leave it home. We'll be in contact with the Bart's family and American Airlines, hoping for a positive outcome. In Norfolk, Julio Avila, News 3.